an honor to be here tonight to introduce the official charity partner. I promise you'll get dessert any second now if you just shut up and listen to me for like five minutes. Okay. Thank you, thank you. I have got word to the kitchen, they will withhold it. Um, so we're just going to take a, a quick look at the, the work that Global Citizen does. Um, if you just have a look at the screen. We are Global Citizens. And for the first time in history, we have the means to end extreme poverty. Our social power can ensure governments, businesses, and NGOs all play their part. We can use that power to grab the world's attention and shape the systems and policies, keeping people poor. People can thrive, will thrive, given the opportunity, but we must act as one. I am a global citizen. I am a global citizen. I am a global, I am citizen. A global, citizen. I am a global citizen. Join us on the platform that unites our passion and amplifies our voice against extreme poverty. Become a global citizen. Unlock your power. Hello, can you hear me? Oh, that's a bit better. So, um, as you've just seen, Global Citizen is a movement of millions of people coming together to campaign uh, to end extreme poverty by 2030. I know what you're thinking, that's an ambitious goal. Uh, but Global Citizen are not your typical charity. They don't appeal for the public's money through fundraising. So you're not going to see them chasing you down the street with a clipboard asking for your account details. What they want is your voice. Right, so uh, it is unimaginable that in 2016, there are areas of the world where it's more likely that a girl will die in childbirth than to finish school. That every year we waste seven million tons of food, but millions of people go hungry. Now, the way we, what we believe is that to really bring about change, we need to shape the, the systems, the policies and the behaviors that cause inequality and poverty. Now, when Global Citizen asked me to come up with a reason why I'm so passionate about this, I thought, right, I better come up with something really clever. But um, after a couple of hours of thinking, my, I can only think of something simple. How can you not be passionate and bothered about this? But I don't know about you, but a lot, a lot of the time, I feel like I can't do anything to help the situation. I feel helpless about it. But through working with Global Citizen, I feel like my action actually matters. It really does. And that I am joining a movement where collectively we can call for change. So globalcitizen.org, so sear that into your brains, that's the website, is an online platform that brings together everything that you need to know about the world's greatest challenges and the actions that you can take to make a real, actual impact. So in 2015 alone, Global citizens all around the world took five million actions. I know, what's an action, you're thinking? So that's five million tweets, petition signatures, emails, targeting prime ministers, CEOs, and ministers, right? And these actions actually, and this is the truth, they are actually influencing decisions that will change the lives of the world's most vulnerable people. Um, and also, we make sure that those uh, world leaders keep their promises. That's the other thing. So how do we get people to take these actions in the first place? Well, one way is music. Every year, 60,000 global citizens earn tickets to the Global Citizen Festival in uh, New York, Central Park. Um, it's headlined by, well, you won't have heard, heard of them. They're kind of small time acts like Beyonce and Pearl Jam, Coldplay, tiny. They will make it one day. But um, the thing is, you can only gain entry into this festival by taking an action on globalcitizen.org. So to break it down, this is how you work. Uh, this is how it works. You want a ticket to see Beyonce. Who doesn't, right? You go to globalcitizen.org, where you are asked to learn more about the challenges that the world's facing today. 
Then you take an action that targets a world leader. Then you're at the festival, you're singing along and you're dancing and everything. And then you will see those decision makers come onto stage and respond directly to your action. And they will announce their commitments to fight poverty and inequality. So I'll give you, thank you. Um, I'll, I know what you're thinking, you want the proof, you want some examples. So, last year alone, this is only in 2015, the Dutch government committed to providing clean toilets for 30 million people and clean drinking water for 50 million people. The clothing store H&M gave us $1.3 million for sanitation programs in India that will affect the lives of 45,000 people. The UK government committed to getting an additional 6.5 million girls through school in the next five years. That was just last year. This is why we are building a movement. When enough people come together, we can get results like that. We can actually make a difference. But we can only do this with your help. The money raised this evening is crucial for us to take our political impact to scale in order for us to inspire and educate a new generation of global citizens to take action and to build the movement needed to eradicate poverty. It is possible, we can do it by 2030, but we need your help. Please spread the word. We hope you will consider joining our movement. Thank you very much.